Welcome to Good News Ministries, where Jesus ministers to you through our many Catholic faith-building tools. Please subscribe now to our YouTube channel and click on the bell to be sure to receive all of our daily prayers and reflections. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, in today's prayer and reflection, we desire to enter into your presence more deeply, to receive your blessing, and to grow stronger in faith. Come, Holy Spirit, open us to the presence of Christ. Be our guide throughout this day. Amen. Dear Father God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, stir up within us the fullness of your Holy Spirit. Help us to live in his power, share his gifts, and spread the fruits of his love so that this world will become a better place. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Feast of St. James the Apostle, July 25th. Today's theme, Are You a Cracked Pot? What is flawed in you? Think of yourself as a ceramic jar with cracks. God wants to do something awesome with your flaws. As we see in today's first reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 to 15, we have within us a priceless gift to share. Although this treasure is stored in a cracked earthen vessel, it's priceless in the hands of God. Our flaws are proof that God's alive within us because he nourishes the world through us with his water of life, despite our flaws. Let me share a story I found when I needed to learn this truth myself. Once upon a time, there was a servant who fetched water for his master in two large pots, which he carried on the ends of a pole that lay across his neck. One of the pots had a crack in it. The other was perfect. By the time the servant walked from the stream to the master's house, the cracked pot had lost half of its water. I am ashamed, said the cracked pot. Why? asked the water bearer. The pot answered, I have been delivering only half my load. This crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way to your master's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do more work. The man felt compassion for the pot and said, Today, as we return to the master's house, I want you to look at the beautiful flowers along the path. So the cracked pot took notice of the many flowers along the way, and this cheered it some. But at the end of the trail, it still felt bad because, again, it had leaked out half its load. The water bearer said, 
Did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of the path, but not the other pot side? That's because I have always known about your flaw, and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side of the path. Every day you've been watering them. These flowers are grown to decorate my master's table. Without your cracks, he would not have this beauty in his house. In the reading from 2 Corinthians, hear the comforting words. I am afflicted, but with God's help, I am not crushed. I am full of doubts, but with God's help, I do not despair. I am persecuted, but with God's help, never abandoned. I am struck down, but with God's help, never destroyed. To this we could add, I am cracked, but with God's help, not useless. Nothing goes to waste when we give our flaws to God. Not our imperfections, not our mistakes, not our weaknesses, nor our regrets. It all depends on how willing we are to let God transform our flaws into flowers, so that the grace given in abundance may bring greater glory to God. If you don't like yourself, ask God to show you the flowers you've helped him to grow. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Virgin of Miracles, take my heart and unite it to your Immaculate Heart. Deliver my innermost yearnings to the Sacred Heart of your Son Jesus, and to his mercy and to the power of your spouse, the Holy Spirit, in whom everything worthy of the kingdom of God is possible. O Virgin of Miracles, I lift up to you today's prayer intentions, entrusting them to your motherly love. Please bring divine solutions to each need in union with the will of God, whose compassion is abundant. O Virgin of Miracles, Receive my gratefulness and my love. I pledge to you my trust. Help me to let go of worry and fear in obedience to the call of faith. Teach me how to live in the goodness and power of God. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, we entrust to you all of our intentions for this day. For the conversion of sinners, Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls in purgatory, Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of those who have no one to pray for them, Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world and in our families, Lord, hear our prayer. For the protection and well-being of the Church, the Pope, all priests, consecrated men and women, and all the baptized, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the vulnerable, the sick, the homeless, the abused, and refugees, Lord, hear our prayer. For a day filled with God's blessings in my meetings, my appointments, my work, and in my family, Lord, hear our prayer. For your will to be done in every heart today, Lord, hear our prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Ark of the Covenant, leading us to victory in battle. 
I consecrate my life to you. I consecrate my family to you. Help us become holy. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, we have recourse in our affliction. And having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we now, with hearts filled with confidence, earnestly beg you to take us under your protection. Through that sacred bond of charity, which united you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and by that fatherly love with which you embraced the child Jesus, we humbly beg you to look graciously upon the beloved inheritance which Jesus Christ purchased by his blood, and to aid us in our necessities with your power and strength. Defend us, O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, the chosen children of Jesus Christ. Keep from us, O most loving Father, all blight of error and corruption. Aid us from on high, most valiant defender, in this conflict with the powers of darkness. And just as you once saved the child Jesus from mortal danger, so now defend God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and strengthened by your help, we may be able to live a virtuous life, die a happy death, and obtain everlasting bliss in heaven. Amen. O glorious Prince of the Heavenly Host, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle and in the terrible warfare that we are waging against the principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the evil spirits. Come to our aid, for Almighty God created us immortal, made us in His own image and likeness, and redeemed us at a great price from the tyranny of Satan. Arise then, O invincible prince, bring help against the attacks of the lost spirits to the people of God, and give us the victory. We venerate you as our protector and patron. In you the Holy Church glories as her defense against the malicious power of hell. To you God has entrusted the human soul to be established in heavenly beatitude. O oh, pray to the God of peace that he may put Satan under our feet, so far conquered that he may no longer be able to hold us in captivity and harm the church. Offer our prayers in the sight of the Most High, so that they may quickly find mercy in the sight of the Lord, and vanquishing the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, make him captive in the abyss, that he may no longer seduce the nations. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Watch over me, protect me, and reveal the presence of Jesus to me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. All the saints in heaven, pray for us. All the saints who are celebrated on this day, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us in today's Prayer and Reflection. If you enjoyed this, please share it with your family and friends. I ask God to bless your day, bless your family, and bless your hopes and dreams. I invite you to bless the Lord by posting in the comments. If you would like the Good News Prayer Network to intercede for you, or if you want to join our prayer teams in acts of love praying for others, Click the post a prayer link in the description of this video. As a thank you gift, I want to offer you my free ebook, 10 Prayers That Changed My Life. 
you'll find the link in the description below. More prayers are available on the Good News Ministries website, including prayers with saints, prayers for parents, and prayers for victory. The link is in the description below. God bless you.